heroes and anti heroes. I promise we don't have an addiction to streams. <laughs> I have an addiction to streaming. She does. I like hanging out with everyone. That should be the we next all... exposed video. Kyrie exposed, addicted to streaming. My sister's gonna see that I'm streaming. It's gonna be like, what the what? I thought you were like, ah. Uh. I was hanging out with right. her, and then I went home because there was a storm, and it made me nervous. Tyrone Remember... says, "Turn up." <laughs> <laughs> Hey Kyrie, remember when you said you weren't gonna do no more streams till that resonance one? Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> that was such a lifetime ago now. I remember that. I remember saying that. Yep. Besides, who doesn't like a good stream now and then? <laughs> I love doing streams. I love them. I love hanging out yeah. with you guys. I'm I'm stalling right now, waiting for people to show up. Hi, Brid. What's up? <laughs> you know, I feel like Hybrid Namek should always get like a special mention with all the fuck Mary kills he gives us. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But, but yeah, this is the one. This is the one Kyrie forgot like months ago <laughs> to do. Yeah, I. I should have done this a long time ago. In the galaxy far, far away. Ooh. And now I'm you gonna know. freak Tony out by going into the chestnut server, adding everyone, and saying, uh -oh. hey, look at this! <laughs> Another I stream! Let everyone know. <laughs> but, um... But... But, yeah. We don't have a problem. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> so, how's everyone in the... How's all four people doing right now? <laughs> how many people that are watching? There. <laughs> How much you want to bet that Tony's gonna come in here see yelling like, "What the hell?" I, I guarantee Tony's gonna be coming in here yelling. Or coughing. Or something, making noise of some kind. He always does. <laughs> Hashtag Tony freaks out. Oh my goodness. Oh wow, look at that. Hybrid watched the latest Super episode. It was surprisingly not half bad. Good for them. Yeah. We'll get to that I'm, one day. I'm sure. I'm sure most of the Tournament of Power episodes are actually pretty good. I just don't like Goku's characterization. Period. <laughs> DC What's up, asks DC? why now? And the answer is because I felt like it. Because it's always because, because I feel like it. Yeah. I could I could literally just call this a streaming channel at this point. <laughs> but like streaming, I follow like I follow a analogy. lot of people who stream just about every day, you know? So it, it's or not a lot of people. I follow about two or three people who stream just about every day, you know? That's why it's not like unheard of for me. It's not like a, a total sin. Yeah. It's only weird if you've been with her for a long while. Back when she used to stream like every once a month. <gasps> and and you know what? Hey, everyone, let's just let's just take a moment of pleasure. It's cause her streaming this much is like a Christmas gift for all of us. <laughs> really? We're calling my streams a Christmas gift now? Damn it. Oh, it's a Christmas gift when you're around. Oh, you just called me out in that. <laughs> yeah, you're just now reading it. I did call you out. I know, I because I didn't read it in the um in the um almonds thing, but on forty two, I'm like, oh, wait, I just noticed she said my thing. I'm like, oh, 
<laughs> now Tony's gonna be mad at me. I'm gonna go into Cal server and the self promotion and. You know, there's there's always Rocker Ice server too. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> 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 <gasps> oh, oh man, we're gonna get to work on this eventually. Oh wait, hey DC, let me guess. You're playing Xenoverse? <laughs> that's where I was. Oh, hybrid, poor you. Wow. Dude, I mean, please. you... you I mean, you might like it, but... Yeah, your Discord says you're Here's playing this. Xenoverse, I think. I'm sorry. I really don't pay attention to the Discords of what people are doing on there. <laughs> Stop <gasps> it. I hear whispering. In the... that, that's my mom whispering. That's not me. Oh. Hi. <laughs> if you can hear me. She can't hear you. I have headphones in. Oh. I said hi. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. All right. We got a total of five people watching. Who wants to start looking up anti-hero stuff? I do. Okay. I was switching to monitor, monitor capture. All right. With my outdated OBS. Nothing's ever outdated unless you make it outdated. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to have my research on one side over here. And have the... Well, not, not that one. No. And have the chat Whoa. on the other side over here. Well, no. Have the chat over here. Hello, Yellow fire. Person. Okay. Okay, that should do it. Oh, GG Gamer's back. I thought he was gone. Wow. Wow. I told you he'd be back. I, <laughs> and he's still mad at me. I or he's not. I swear he purposefully spells your name wrong at this point. Or unless he's or he's really mad at a guy named Quantumum. <laughs> He's not mad at you, Quantum. He's mad at Quantum. Quantum. Yeah. GG Gamer, whoever this Quantum Num is. So, uh, wait. Quantum Mun? Yeah, Quantum Mun. Whoever Quantum Mun is, I'm sorry, you're angry at him. That sounds like a Pokemon name. That does sound like a Pokemon name. <laughs> now that you think about it. I wonder which one's weirder, though. Quantum Num or Quantum? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna define antihero, and the thing we're gonna do is we're not gonna use Google definition, and we're not gonna use Wikipedia, and we're not gonna use Urban Dictionary. We're we're actually gonna no, we're not gonna use TV tropes. Oh my god. Okay. Vegeta's not an anti hero, I don't think, because he's not really a hero. Yeah. And this hey, might be look. a good website. Literary Vegeta. devices. That sounds official. <coughs> it dot does. Net. Dot net. Whew. Oh, look. GG Gamer. Vegeta's an anti hero. We're going to get to that. Who's double four? Double four anime? He's, um, let's just say he's a little... <laughs> yeah. No one just, no one wants to speak about him. Okay. Anti
anti-hero is a literary device used by writers for a prominent character in a player book that has characteristics opposite to that of a conventional hero. The protagonist is generally admired for his bravery, strength, charm, or ingenuity, while an anti-hero is typically clumsy, unso unsolicited, unskilled, and has both good and bad qualities. Hmm. Hmm. So, if we're going to name a few examples, right? Right. Oh. I mean, I guess... Hmm. Uh. Going off of that definition of anti-hero, I guess because Goku does have the re his reckless nature... You could call him an anti-hero, but that's not really what people mean when they say anti-hero, is it? So I no. Think the problem is, is that people aren't really using the right definition of anti-hero. Unless Did there's it? more than one. Spike I from Cowboy Bebop is definitely an anti-hero. Oh, yeah. But the, Red well, Hood. The, the thing is, is that anti-heroes aren't really people that aren't considered heroes. That's the thing. A lot of people say that an anti-hero is someone who isn't really trying to be a hero or doesn't really care if people are hurt or, you know. Like Han Solo in episode four. Yeah. That's what people will say an anti-hero is. But that's not really what an anti-hero is. An anti-hero isn't a villain. They're not. They're not a. Uh, they're. They're not somebody who would be a villain if not for being on the wrong side. Yeah. I think Luffy's an anti-hero. Yeah. I don't even think Luffy mm. is a hero, though. Would you call Luffy a hero? <laughs> no. <laughs> He's a pirate. Right, I don't think Luffy is a hero. He's the protagonist, but he's not really a hero. I mean, I would say Naruto is more of a hero than Luffy. Yeah, Naruto's way more of a hero than Luffy, and Goku's way more of a hero than uh, Luffy, too. Yeah. Because Luffy is the character who is just, um doing his own thing and not really wanting to save people and it just kind of happens I feel like I feel like he the only reason he saves anyone is like he's just there and he has like a goal in mind when he does something like that yeah uh, I don't know how to say your name person because the J throws me off <laughs> fire my fire my J this is what I'm gonna call you <laughs> maybe Says, it's, maybe it's fire Fire Maj? Fire Maj? Fire Maj! I'm gonna call you that. Fire Maj. I'd say he does good things, but not for the sake of others. It's more for his own intent. Yeah, and that's not really what makes an anti-hero, but that does describe Luffy. <laughs> Fire Mash. Okay. Got it. Fire Mash. Oh, yeah, you were I get close. it. <laughs> you were close. You were close. You just had the wrong A sound. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I feel like by your defin by the definition we have here, maybe it's just people who don't understand the character the definition of an anti-hero that think, you know, like more like a um. Oh no, he was right. Fire Mosh. Huh. Okay. Um. Define hero. That would be important. Avatar, don't even go there with me right now, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if we can find another .NET website. Um, well, hold on. Huh. Literary, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder if I go to this website here that we were looking at for the definition. Da, 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 da. Oh my god. Okay, full list of literary devices. Let's go. Let's look for it. 
Let's do this thing. Hero, haha, yes. A hero can Kyrie be just found, Huh? I think Kyrie just found her new webs new favorite website, everyone. Yeah, I was just about to say that. I'm gonna bookmark it. <laughs> bookmark this page. Literary devices. As a literary device, a hero can be defined as the principal character of a literary work. The term hero has been applied not only in the classical sense, but also in modern literature as the principal character of a story, play, or novel. Okay, the term is also employed in another sense for the celebrated figures in certain ancient legends and heroic epics like Gilgamesh, the... Mm -hmm -hmm. Liliad, 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 I, I know, I know that story. I know of that story, but I can never pronounce it. It's all right. Iliad? I, oh, God bless. Beowulf or Le Chanson de Roland. I don't know that one. However, it has traveled a long way from classical heroes in Oedipus and Odysseus to Hamlet, and then to modern heroes such as Willy Loman. From confrontation of monsters to mental dilemmas, a hero has transformed from an attract attractive prince to a common man. Uh oh. <laughs> so it still says the common man is still considered a hero. Hmm. So. If the common man is still considered a hero, then that would mean. a common. Oh my god. Batman? That would mean a common flaw. Like, um. Oh man. Uh -huh. Like, like, like reckless. A common uh -huh. flaw like recklessness wouldn't stop one from being considered a hero. Yeah. Oh wait, oh okay. wait, what is this? Hello. <gasps> Hi. Hi. We're we're talking about anti heroes. I, I see that. That's why I jumped in. We're, I have no idea what you've said before though, but go ahead. I found this new favorite website of mine called literarydevices.net. Yes, I know of what you speak, actually. <laughs> Tyrone, that's what we're trying to figure out. Is Goku an anti-hero? So far, I'm thinking the answer is no and yes at the same time. I mean, Kid Goku, I think, is more of a anti-hero, maybe? No. Well, no, wait. I feel no. like only one instance, maybe. No. Wait, no. wait. go back to the definition for anti-hero. Oh, wait, you're already there. Never mind. <laughs> Anti-hero is a literary device used by writers for a prominent character in a player book that has characteristics opposite to that of a conventional hero. The protagonist is generally admired for his bravery, strength, charm, and ingenuity, while an anti-hero is typically clumsy, unsolicited, unskilled, and has both good and bad qualities. No. No, no wait, never mind. <laughs> yeah. I don't like that definition. I don't like that definition. I don't like that definition. <laughs> you want to find me I, a better one? Um, an anti-hero to me is there's okay there's a book called The Lies of Locke Lamora and it's like it's basically somebody that you would not expect to be a hero like a thief or an assassin or somebody on the bad side of the thing but actually being heroic underneath it all. Hmm. It's yeah. So it's like anti the typical what you expect, but it's not the 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 clumsiness stuff. So Han Solo episode four. <laughs> yes. Yes, very yes. <laughs> <laughs> and please do not hurt me <laughs> for what I said about episode seven. <laughs> I I I don't know what you said. Good. <laughs> oh man and so we also pulled up the definition of hero and um and it said like a uh as a 
literary device, a hero can be defined as the principal character of a literary work. The term hero has been applied not only in the classical sense, but also in modern literature as the principal character of a story, play, or novel, which isn't really the type of definition I'm looking for for hero. That's just, oh, our hero of our story is Goku. Obviously, I don't think anyone's going to argue with that. But Unless you watch. Okay. Watch okay. Here's a, here's an anti-hero definition. I'm just going to quote it. And you I'll read it, but here. <laughs> An anti-hero, by definition, is a central character who lacks conventional heroic attributes. Some even display qualities that are almost more in line with villains. Traits like conceitedness, immorality, rebellion, and dishonesty signal that the author does not intend the audience to admire the protagonist. Ooh, now that's there you the anti-hero. That, that's, that's okay. I'm putting that in the description. <laughs> that... <laughs> Fits in with everything that I've ever learned about anti-hero. <laughs> okay. Same. Yeah, that same. Is, that is the same. And I think the other definition was trying to get there, but it's so vague that it was like, um, not no. Yeah. That whole other definition described something I didn't really believe in. Uh, Fire Mosh, what, what? Why are you saying uh, try heroism or heroic? Oh, okay. I guess I need to open up the YouTube so I can see the chat. Not there. Well, apparently I'm cancer. Apparently. Yeah, oh. GG Gamers in the chat. <laughs> this is this is Tony the guy. Tony says he'll be here in five. GG Gamer, you're you're famous, by the way. Um, this is the. This is the guy I was telling you about, Rita, who um, we we tried to show him that there was hesitation in Goku's voice because of the ellipses. Yeah. And he was saying we were making stuff up. That's not making stuff up. I don't want to get off on that. I went off on you earlier about that. <laughs> <laughs> certain things are written certain ways for reasons. They're like on purpose. Like, you can, you, spaces are there for reasons. <laughs> and the artwork is there for a reason. Yeah, it's part of the medium. But no. We're just Goku tards, apparently. <laughs> no, you have to, like, part of the medium is understanding the visual part of it. It's not just freaking there to look nice. Yeah. No, Kairi was making stuff up, and Quantum was waking. Oh, the hell out of Goku, apparently, says GG Gamer. Whatever. Whatever. Uh, we, we tried. I'm, the last I'm, uh, that's, that's not the conversation we're having right now. So. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Define heroism in literature. Okay, Google, help me out here. Not Wikipedia. Literical.com? What is that website? I like this website so far. Link me. I got it, I got it. Now the avatar. Is that like Okay, yeah, retract that message, bro. Aha. Oh, oh, we got different types of heroes. So we can just we can figure out what type of hero Goku is. Ah, uh, no. Well, good luck. That's kind of hard. Huh? I said good luck is kind of hard. Yeah, I'll bet. I, I bounce between different things. <laughs> Challenge accepted. Aren't there websites that have even more options, though? Yeah, there, there's there's a lot of options out there. Because, you know, people can write all kinds of new things all the time. And take a spin on it and be like, well, it's different from what it was originally, but it's not this, so it's a new thing. Uh, I mean, that's how creative things work. Sorry. I thought that was funny. Okay. 
Um, classical heroes, sometimes known as romantic heroes, are everyday people that have a great talent. They often possess an attribute or quality that distinguishes them from ordinary people, making them a hero. It's important to remember that classical heroes are equal in their world, but possess a gift that others do not have. Example of these would be Harry Potter, Pony Boy, or Victor Frankenstein. Hmm. Manny. <laughs> well, if you uh, eclectic, if you look at the um, description, we found a definition of antihero that we really like, and uh, decided that that's not Goku at all. <laughs> it's Goku is not an antihero. I get so been out of shape when people say that. Yeah. I really do. Just like when people say villain or antagonist and I go what do you mean what do you mean stop saying words <laughs> a villain is a type of antagonist what are you doing <laughs> <laughs> now let's see the everyman hero in literature the term everyman has come to mean an ordinary individual that the audience or reader easily identifies with also, the everyman hero, every hero has no outstanding abilities or attributes. An everyman hero is thrown into extraordinary circumstances where they must act with heroic qualities. Moreover, they have sound moral judgment and show selflessness in the face of adversity. Many protagonists in realistic fiction are considered everyman heroes. Yeah, I don't think you're really going to see that in something like Dragon Ball. No, no. <laughs> and really not in, in anime in general. Especially oh. when I an anime. Look at that. I don't understand characterization. Nice. That's okay. According to GG Gamer, apparently. <laughs> Naruto is the everyman. Apparently. What? No, he has abilities that far exceed everyone else in that world. That's what the Nine Tails Fox is. Yeah, he has that a special ability. And He's not Sage every Ball. man at all. <laughs> He's also the child of the of the fourth Hokage and Kushina Uzumaki. That's not every man. Yeah, that's true. Bilbo Baggins not is a perfect example of the every man hero, right? I think so. Luke Skywalker yeah. too. Luke has a oh. gift. I mean, he, he trains for the. I mean, no, no, no. He has an ability that most people don't, which makes him a Jedi. <laughs> That's true. He is not the everyman hero in Star Wars. It's okay. He's a classic. Yeah, That's true. I'm stuck on that whole, stuck on that whole other belief right now. But. Yamcha's Yamcha the everyman. Every man. I'll believe it. <laughs> I think that's what the, the the human characters of Dragon Ball represent, the everyman type, I guess. Because they just work really freaking hard. Like Krillin. Yeah. No, that, right there. Moomin Rider from One Punch Man is the everyman. <gasps> yes! Yes, he is! Yeah. Absolutely, because he doesn't have any special abilities. He's just being a hero for the sake of being a hero out of pure selflessness. Yep. I mean, I that's what... That. Um, if if Deku hadn't gotten the thing from All Might, he would have been every man. Because he would have figured it out by his with his brain and whatnot. You know, yep. and he would have had an ability. But they gave him an ability, so that doesn't count anymore. But that's what I was thinking was going to happen when I was first reading slash watching it, and then I was like, oh, oh, he got an ability. <laughs> so. Kikoku says Rock Lee. Uh, I mean... He still has his taijutsu. Yeah. Not being an everyman hero is not a bad thing either, but, like, it's just... Like, you can't even say Gohan is every man, even though he's, like, the one that we most relate to. Mm hmm Apparently, according to the GG Gamer, Deku is generic trash. Oh, yeah, 
Uh, tragic Heroes. We've talked about Tragic Heroes on this channel before. Oh, yeah, we have. It was the great philosopher Aristotle who first defined the ill-fated protagonist as a tragic hero. Aristotle suggested that a hero of a tragedy must evoke a sense of pity or fear from the audience. Also, the tragic hero has to be someone whose misfortune is brought about not by vice or depravity, but by some error or fate. To this day, literature is in... Oh my god, words I do not know mm -hmm. yet. And <laughs> inundated... Inundated, I've heard that word before, with the use of this type of protagonist. I just had to say it out loud. I don't want my mm. context clues to fail me, so even though I think I know what it means, I'm looking it up. Overwhelm someone with things or people to be dealt with. <laughs> I like how it's like, hashtag Shakespeare. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag Shakespeare. <laughs> <laughs> That's the suggestions. Those, those are tragic heroes, yes. yes those Romeo, are the Macbeth, and Brutus. Fire Manche, Jonathan Joestar. <laughs> Usopp is a good represent, represent, uh, representation of every man, I think. Yeah. Yeah, he is. But yeah. yeah, we talked about tragic heroes on this channel before and how future Gohan is a tragic hero. You, yeah. You have to have the one, two, three, four, five, six. You have to have the six um, principles to be considered of by Aristotle to be Aristotle to be considered a tragic hero which is a flaw that causes the downfall extreme pride reversal of fortune when the hero makes a critical discovery fate that cannot Aww. be reversed and tone pity or fear that the audience is left with after the hero's fall so Anakin from the prequels I think he's supposed to be. Yeah. I think so too. Because he has that. He has all those qualities mostly. Except his fate was kind of reversed when he became a force ghost, I would say. Avatar. No last Jedi spores for some people in this chat, alright? Just, just FYI. <laughs> We're not talking about dynamic characters right now. We're talking about different types of heroes. We'll, we'll discuss dynamic characters like Vegeta later. You know, the more he says Vegeta, the more I feel like he's a Vegeta fanboy. Let's, <laughs> I, I really think he is, but let's not name call people. I'm just reminded of something that I need to read. <laughs> the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure thing that I have not touched ever. That it was all over the place that I need to read. Yeah. <laughs> the epic hero. The epic hero. As with the tragic hero, the Greeks were first to define the protagonist known as an epic hero. These are heroes of a tragedy who evoke in the audience a sense of heroism and legendary awe-inspiring lore. An epic hero is a man whose fortune is brought about by their admired characteristics. Many of the famous Greek epics, such as the Odyssey and the Iliad, Hi, I said it! contain these larger-than-life heroes and deeds. Oh. Oh. Noble, it's like Superman. Oh, not Bardock. Not Bardock. <laughs> Superman, yes. Bardock, no. Nah. What the hell? There's this one character I know, but I'm not, I can't say it right now. They need a they need noble a noble birth. An epic hero is usually a king, prince, demigod, or nobleman. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, whatever. Oh. Superhuman strength and courage. The warrior has the potential for greatness based on their attributes. For example, cunning, brave, humble, so, oh my god, what is that word? <laughs> Virtuous. That is Superman. Having or shown so keen mental discernment and good judgment. Okay. Alright. 
a vast traveler. An epic hero is known for making travels to exotic locations by choice or chance, usually to battle against evil. This is Superman, yeah. Unmatched warrior skill. This hero typically has a reputation for being a great warrior. Epic heroes commonly have a status that precedes them prior to the beginning of the story. Future Cultural. Trump? No, I don't think Future no. Trump fits that at all. I think he's just no. naming names. He is. He's like going from Future Trunks, Roshi, Bardock. I'm like, what? I mean, I guess Goku... Does Goku have like a bit of that in it? Would you say? Um... Because he, he's a vast traveler. He definitely has the humility part, which is this hero's greatest attribute is his humbleness. Despite the fact that he may be the best of the best, he never brags, boasts, or becomes ostentatious about his abilities. Yeah. Battle supernatural foes. Until he's Super Saiyan, and then he... <laughs> and then he brags and boasts and stuff, but that's Kakarot. We don't talk oh. about him. <laughs> I love that. He goes Super Saiyan, and he's like, Haha. oh, there's the cockiness. <laughs> and then and then he fuses with Kakarot on Super Saiyan 4 mode. He battles Wait, G supernatural foes. Oh no 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 no! These aren't okay. He's he's listing them off as like, oh, this one this one attribute can be attributed to this one character, but the idea of the epic hero is that the one character has to have all these attributes. Kai, bro, we watched Kai yesterday. Where were you, bro? Yeah, you weren't <laughs> there, bro. Oh my god, the Android arc's the worst. No, it's not. It's it's so painful. It's so painful because my baby's in pain. It hurts yeah. me. Quantum just doesn't understand. Um, just doesn't understand. Um, I, I obviously don't understand, right, Kyrie? Obviously. I obviously don't. <laughs> hmm. I think the only one Goku's missing is a noble birth. <laughs> I haven't seen Doctor Strange. You see what I mean by like this list doesn't doesn't really fit. It's hard to fit Goku into a type. Right. Robo right. Robo P, let it go. <laughs> It really is hard to fit Goku into a type. I feel like just Toriyama just takes inspiration from mostly, like, I don't know, from all types, maybe. Hey, Tony's here. Goku is his own type. <laughs> he did kind of start his trend there. <laughs> I mean, he did. <laughs> I mean, he's... He's the shonen hero. He's like the start of most shonen now. Wait, GG Gamer, who's a Toriyama hater? Anybody me. here hate Toriyama? He's saying it's me, probably. But are you? No. What? I'm gonna look up different. He's types saying of I'm a. Kyrie, he's saying I'm a Toriyama hater because of what we were doing last stream. We well, you know, actually analyzing Toriyama's art and his words. Oh. Oh. No, he wasn't. He wasn't. Everybody, there is no such thing as an original idea anymore. Oh, anybody that is like coddles their quote unquote original idea is needs to be like chill out a bit. It's not, that's not what makes it original. That's why I'm not really I keen on, oh, the ideas are amazing. No, it doesn't matter. I will go on a rant about that, but I'm not, that's not the time to do that. But yeah, GG, Toriyama, he takes ideas from other stuff. His inspiration for Future Trunks arc was the Terminator movies, 
his inspiration for um for F- uh, Frieza was probably like, I mean it's probably stuff he's seen in other stuff. And no, fusion is not his is not his idea. He actually got it from someone else. He's he actually got the idea from fusion from another manga that he was working with at the time. His whole his whole Dragon Ball star was a parody of Journey to the West. Right. So really, Toriyama takes ideas that have been existed and just and puts his own spin on it. It's not. It's like not. A, it's not mostly original. It's just him doing what Toriyama does. I best. mean, okay. So like, okay. the the thing that makes something original is your personal spin on it, anyway. Because yeah. like. Even Tolkien takes, like, if, whenever we freaking talk about resonance, Tolkien took a lot of stuff from folklore and stuff that nobody really knows but was actually ingrained in culture and ingrained in linguistics and names and stuff like that. So it's not like, oh my gosh, everything is an original slate and every idea has to be original. That's not how it works. It's about how what pieces you pick up that you are exposed to that you put together. Right. To every creative also, out there. That's why you expose yourself to multiple different things so that you can have your own spin on everything and you're not just staring at one type of show or one type of book or one type of movie, whatever, you know. He says he says you don't know that, you just need to hate on him. And I do know that because he's actually said it in like interviews and you can find these interviews on like Konzenshu, you can find it on Geekdom's channel. And you don't. And how much stuff from Dragon Ball comes from Tor- from Journey to the West? Only Goku, Bulma, Oolong, Yamcha, Poir, and Nimbus. What? I mean, uh, look, GG Gamer. We're not trying to say that Dragon Ball is a copy of something else. Yeah, there's a difference between inspired by and has ideas that are inspired by or and take quote unquote taken from versus a literal plagiarism copy. Like Yamamoto music. Right. There's a there's a clear difference there. <laughs> but everybody that gets all worked out of shape and bent out of shape over or people, even writers that will like coddle, this is my original idea, and it's like, no. Like Somebody else in the world will probably have it. You don't. Harry Potter was not the first. You know, she's not the first person to make the idea of a kid going to a magic school. Mm-hmm. Mm, that's the truth. He finally speaks. Toriyama is interviews are non-canon because that was not in the manga. <laughs> We're not. Anyway, it's all off topic now. I'm gonna go. <laughs> Wait, no, no, I'm still looking this Back on topic. topic. Back on topic. Back on topic. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Um, I found this list of types of heroes, but I don't really like it much. Oh hey, it's how to write a hero's oh. journey. Or it's, it's the hero's journey. Ooh, that's, that's, ooh. Ooh, Ooh, I'm holding on to that. Yeah, I think I said my I said my spiel about anti heroes at the beginning. I'm just gonna uh head out and play games now. Okay. Have fun. Because it's like Bye. 11 p.m., so I'm gonna play games before I go to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> <All right. laughs> yeah, later. Later. I'm so happy she's not killing me over the Force Awakens. <laughs> uh, why would she do that for? She what said Tony? She would. Yeah, she did. Kill Q over something that he thinks is terrible. Yep. Why? Because he said that he thinks that uh, Ray is a Mary Sue. The only reason I think that's because of the new movie. Dude, you need to be careful. Dude, you need to be careful that Mary Sue thing. And wait, top five best people in chat. You have that list so mixed up right now. <laughs> so oh, this PDF, y'all want this PDF? Y'all want this PDF? You want it? You want it? Okay. 
<laughs> uh, that sounded really off. I sound like I, was, I sound like I was a dog for some. Let me get my moment quantum. <laughs> <laughs> There's only one mix-up with Hybrid Namek's whole thing. Kyrie's number one on that list. Because it's her stream, for one thing. Oh, oh bye, Manny. He just left. Oh. Okay. I mean, he didn't really talk. I was right. Tragic Heroes. Darth Vader. Anakin Skywalker. Willing, active, gung ho heroes committed to the adventure without doubts, always bravely going ahead, self motivated. This list doesn't really yeah. describe what it's talking about very well, but I am interested in this hero's journey. Yeah. I mean, it's like. It's 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 an assignment to give to English students. But we could totally go over this and talk about Goku. We can. We we can. I'm but really, Tony, let's watch I, let's watch out Tony. She's probably gonna give us homework. <laughs> this is your homework. This is we're doing it right now. Talk to teacher about the hero's journey, about Goku's hero's journey. Okay. Uh, all right. GG Gamer, you are really fast to use the word hate. All because someone says that Vegeta isn't their favorite character doesn't mean they hate him. Anyways, with the members of your group, determine how... <laughs> okay. This, like, this is talking about some other character, too. Oh my god, hmm. okay. Of course it is. Yeah. This is a different setup. Okay. Within the hero's normal world, the normal world, setting characters' beliefs that the hero inhabits. Uh, um, no, GG Gamer, no. Goku's not a pacifist. Pacifist? What the? Goku is... No, I'm a pacifist. Goku is not a pacifist. <laughs> this guy's... Just, he's just being... He's just being a giant troll now. He's just a jerk. Namek time. What are you talking about now? GG Gamer. Nah, don't send him to Namek quite yet. Okay. Goku's a... Because he doesn't like violence, but... What?! I, I, I can't see uh, chat, y'all. So I don't. So I don't fully understand what's going on right now. Uh, GG Gamer said Goku is a pacifist because he doesn't like violence but fighting. Uh, what? I, exactly. Uh, he just broke Kyrie. He broke my babe. But it, uh, fighting. Breathe. Is breathe, violence. honey. Breathe. I'm about to say, Kyra might want to breathe real quick before she kind of like, chokes. I and understand what I. The thing is, is that I'm acting all confused and everything, but the truth is, I do understand what he's saying. Then what is he saying? Because I'm. There's a difference between violence and fighting, uh, between martial arts and violence. Violence has evil intent behind it, whereas just martial arts does not. Goku fights to better himself. Goku doesn't fight to harm others, unless it's unless you're Frieza. So, Hero's Journey. Yeah. <clears throat> so. Okay. Okay. 
So the hero's normal world, where Goku starts out. Describe it. In the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Do you want to go, Tony, or you want me to continue? Uh oh, what's the question again? Just well, describe, I can't see now. Just describe where Goku starts out. I said in the middle of nowhere, commun- in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> commun- communing with nature, as he per- as he lives in a small hut, once, once with his grandfather, but his grandfather is gone. That. <laughs> All right, so we all know how Goku starts out, and then right. the next part to a hero's journey is a call to adventure. The hero is presented with a problem, challenge, or adventure, and that find that the, is find the Dragon Balls. Look you out can for find them all. all. Yeah, because you gotta heed the call to the magic Dragon Balls. Yeah, that is yeah Bulma. Bulma is his call to adventure yeah. when he shows up. Yeah. And why would Goku want to see her dirty old fanny? <laughs> Refusal of the call. The hero hesitates because of fear. Something happens to further tempt the hero to take up the challenge. Bulma saying to give the ball. He says no. And then she says, why don't you come along with me? And he's kind of hesitant to go with her until she said, I'll just use your ball and give it right back to you when I use my wish. Yep. Uh, the what mentor, someone to advise or guide the hero is introduced. Muten and Roshama. everyone says Muten Roshi. Roshi. Muten Roshama. Outside the hero's normal world, the hero commits to undertaking the challenge and agrees to face the consequences. Actually, I don't think Goku goes on a hero's journey. Uh, no. That's a divine hero's journey. This doesn't really fit Goku very well, does it? I mean, unless you're starting with the Z half of the stuff. Because the challenge would be Snake Way. And the consequence would be if he falls off, maybe. Okay. I'm really interested in the chat, and the chat doesn't seem interested in the hero's journey. Um, yeah. They're talking about Vegeta, how who's a better character, Goku or Vegeta? They're both amazing characters, and they, they're both equal, guys. All of the characters in Dragon Ball are equally good. It's just a matter of personal preference of which one you like better. And Vegeta was not an anti-hero during the Cell arc or the Android no, arc. Oh, he wasn't ever an anti-hero. Like, at all. Because <laughs> let's not forget that poor truck driver he killed. So how are you, Tony? Uh, am I? You're all quiet now. That's weird. You entered this the whole thing quiet for the first time ever. Uh, is that a weird thing? Yes, because you usually make a loud <laughs> coughing noise or scream at us as your entrance every time. Uh, okay. Well, one, um, that don't have to be every single time. It's, uh, it's literally every single two. Time. Well, two. Uh, <laughs> y'all haven't said anything to trigger me. Three. I can't see chat at the moment. And four. I'm busy playing a game. <laughs> now that makes sense. Yeah, I'm trying to focus without sounding too crazy. 
Kyrie. Yeah. Should we go? Should we go back to what started this whole thing in the first place? About how how is Goku not antihero? Yeah, yeah. Uh, that definition of antihero was really nice. Um... An antihero, because... by definition, is a central character who lacks conventional heroic attributes. Um, Vegeta's well, he could be called a central character. Some even display qualities that are almost more in line with villains. Traits like conceitedness, immorality, rebellion, and dishonesty signal that the author does not intend the author... Well? Meh. Mm. By that definition... Oh, God. Piccolo's an anti-hero. <laughs> yep. There you have it, folks. But, mm. is he a central character, though? The Gita? Yeah. In the beginning, he was an antagonist. Are you asking if Vegeta's a central character? Yeah. Well, I mean. Okay, so no, he's at the not. Very least... He's not the main protagonist. No. Okay, there you go. There's your answer. Because you try to look up define central character and everything's about the main protagonist, the main protagonist, the main protagonist. And Dragon uh, Ball is not an ensemble cast. Right. It's So, no, he's not the central character, so he's not an anti-hero. He's close, though. And I wouldn't get mad at anybody who would call him an anti-hero. So, right. so basically, he's just an asshole, though. Yeah, basically. That He's an asshole all the way up to the boo thing. That poor truck driver. He didn't deserve that. He didn't. I wonder, types of characters in literature. I wonder if we can... Not Quizlet. Types of character. Ooh, learn lexiconic. This is where we found the dynamic versus static and round and flat characterization stuff. Oh. Also, with Vegeta hybrid, Vegeta was cocky before even all of that crap. He was cocky since the Android 19 fight, and then he got his ass kicked by Android 18. <gasps> We're talking about Vegeta, right? Yeah. Yeah, Vegeta. Okay, if I, heard, I thought I heard you say Vegito. Your your most hated character until his sacrifice. You you mean me, right? Yeah, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah, I will always admit to me hating on Vegeta to the day he makes a sacrifice. Okay. Fire Maj, Goku is not really much of a static character. He does change. Like but it might not, not be dynamic. like yeah, he's not dynamic, but he's not he, static. He is, he is static. He is a static character. Would you, are you sure? Because he does change a bit over time. Yeah, he like changes those... very little. Um, yeah. Let me pull up my book again and find it. Hi, DC. I'm surprised you're not in the VC right now. Just that way you're, you're so behind. Characterization 103. Because I believe in here... Characters, round characters, static character. <laughs> it remains essentially the same person from the beginning of the story to the end. Mm. The developing or dynamic character, on the other hand, undergoes some distinct change of character, personality, or outlook. Well? Hmm. Yeah. No. Hmm. You see? Not some minor change of habit or opinion. 
The thing is, the changes that Goku experiences are just average growing up changes. Right. He doesn't really, like, what, what kind of change are you thinking of right now? What changes are you thinking of? Because we're talking about since, like, the beginning, like, since Dragon Ball. Yeah, he's, he's a completely like, different character from beginning to end. Absolutely. Like, um, like in Dragon Ball, he, he I mean, that's, that's not, like, he did kill, like, his opponents, right? In Dragon Ball, the whole Red Ribbon Army, Piccolo. I feel like there was someone else before that, but I don't know. Oh, Drum and Piccolo's children. The but Karen. then after he trained, but then after, yeah, the care people. But that was technically Master Roshi because he blew up the moon. But after he trained with Kami, he became a different character. Like he became less of a killer and more of a well, not like not killer. Like he like he's like a murderer, but more like like he didn't kill his opponents like straight away. He he said he told him to leave and to you know save themselves before he before he had to go somewhere. Like what Ty- Tyrone said, Kid Goku is kind of a savage, while adult Goku did show a bit of mercy to his opponents. He became more reserved. <laughs> and also, say which, but I mean, Goku may have kept his like fun loving, like kind hearted personality, but he did show like more like grown up ways of life like as Goku he just wanted he was like he was an explorer he wanted to see the world he wanted to see everything but as an adult while he did have a bit of an adventurous side to him still he just, he still like just stayed around at home as well like when he when he wasn't doing anything instead of just I being the kid Goku who would be looking around the whole world as an adventurous side of him went down I mean, when he grew up if anything yeah yeah honestly which is, nat- which is natural for any of anybody growing up, you might have more adventurous side as a kid. When you grow up, that and Goku took more responsibility for his actions as an adult than he did a child. So, like most of the time, <laughs> as a child, he was naive about some of those responsibilities. Mm-hmm. That's with any. So that's with any he's kid. not. He's not a conventional dynamic character because with dynamic, like conventionally speaking, a dynamic character's change is usually caused by a central conflict or facing a major crisis, like Vegeta's change is, or Zuko yeah. from uh, a- Avatar: The Last Airbender. Um. <laughs> But um, but I think y'all are right about him still being considered a dynamic character. So the characterization video might be out of date now. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so what? Okay. Time for an update. Fire- Firemage says, just to play devil's advocate, couldn't you say Goku just develops sympathy? Like, kids are less sympathetic than adults because they don't have the experience. Yeah, I think that's what happened. Yeah. Oh, hybrid. Uh, fuck the Flash. Uh, no, 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 no. Marry the Flash. Fuck Superman. And I, or no, fuck Batman. Kill Superman. <laughs> <laughs> she changed her mind twice, almost three times. Is it is it Barry or is it Walter? Wally. 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 Or is it or is it Bar Allen? Wally is my favorite. Cause Wally's the one from Justice League, right? Yeah. Yeah. He's my favorite. Okay, so this is saying that major essential characters are vital to the development and resolution of the conflict. In other words, the plot and resolution of conflict revolves around these characters. So that's still not Vegeta. (laughs) Yeah, Vegeta's just there most of the time. I'm like, say what you want, but the conflict doesn't really revolve around Vegeta that much. 
I, I guess the only time is like, oh, the Sands are coming to attack. But really, it was still most of, mostly about the others just getting killed off by Nappa while Vegito was just like commenting from the sidelines. Uh, going to switch out of my phone to my laptop real quick. All right. We're not downplaying his character, bro. Who? GG Gamer. No, no, no. Who, said, who does he say we're downplaying? Vegeta. How? How? If you have disagreements, please explain them. I want to have a discussion with you, GG Gamer. I want to. I want to discuss Vegeta with you, but you're not giving me anything to work with. Vegeta has internal conflict. Well, nah, shit. What about it? Why do I, you... Th I know this. I know all of this. Like, GG Gamer... I, I I want to discuss Vegeta, I do, but I feel like everything there is to say has already been said. Did we say he doesn't have conflict? No, we said that the, that the, story, the conflict of the story doesn't revolve around him. Yeah, the conflict of the the conflict of Vegeta doesn't or the conflict of the story doesn't revolve around Vegeta. It revolves around Goku. Everything in Dragon Ball revolves around Goku. Vegeta has his mm, but, own internal conflict that he has to deal with, but that's not the central conflict of the story. Like, the Sands came to Earth because of Goku. Riza, the androids, Cell, all from the stems of Goku's actions as a child. U was created because Goku asked for him to be reincarnated. And hybrid Namek. So, Zudo X Vin? Anyone? No? Okay. Hybrid with what I have in store for that for my story for Vin, you don't you don't want to um you don't want Zuto to be involved. She's taking the the old meme of how everyone thinks it says a story ends, and she's making it real. <laughs> it's gonna be the most amazing thing ever. We lost a viewer. Oh, wait, I'm looking at live chat highlights and not live chat. Oh, oh. I just, I was, I just noticed I was doing the same. <laughs> I forgot about Why that. Why is it default to that? I want to see the whole chat. I don't know. Let's talk about Krillin's characterization. Yay. Oh, wait. GG Gamer just demanded. We'll discuss characters no one talks about, like Kami or Piccolo. I don't really care for Piccolo. Okay, I gotta look this up. Deuteragonist. I have so many tabs now. Oh, Fire Mage. Berlin. The uncle I never had. Often assumes the role of sidekick. Um, and then not TV tropes. Never look at TV tropes. Let this be a lesson to all of y'all. TV tropes is like a fun website that you can get lost on, and they're not wrong, but they don't really ex do everything that they explain justice. What's up, Ronnie? D DC wants to know if you think Krillin has a brother. I would love it if Krillin had a long lost brother because I believe Krillin's parents dropped him off at a young age and abandoned him at an orphanage. He trained for eight years at the Orin Temple. 9, 10, 11, 12. That means he was four years old when he got there. Ooh. Wait, no, he's 13, right? I'm sorry, yeah, he's five. He was five years old when he got there. No, wait, 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 wait. They trained for eight months, right, with Master Roshi? 
Yeah. So he could have he could have had a birthday during those eight months, right? Could have. So, so he could have been four nine or five. Yep. Four or five when he was dropped off at Orin Temple. So it could still be that his parents dropped him off there. Mm-hmm. The head cannon lives. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we all uh head cannons. Piccolo is Gohan's big brother. Okay, I'm just going to look up the Wikipedia definition of this thing. <gasps> Kyrie, the, the Wikipedia? The protagonist or secondary main character is the second most important character after the protagonist and before... Oh. Duo, I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay. Um, secondary main character depends on the arc. So the Avatar, what arc do you want to question us on? It's close. It could be Gohan too for the Z portion. Yeah, for for Z portion, it's definitely Gohan. Yeah. Yeah, GG Gamers on that too. I'm surprised he didn't say Vegeta. <laughs> the Dragon. Ball arc, I think. I guess it would be. I think the first arc, it would be Bulma. And then the second arc, it would be Krillin. And then Upa for the Red Ribbon and stuff? No, no. No, not he, he's not. He's not important. He's not. I don't think. He's not there. there he's not relevant enough. I don't think there is one yeah. in the third arc. I don't think so. What about the 22nd tournament? Uh, the 22nd tournament. Mmm. Mm, I haven't read that in a while. Oh, uh, honey. We gotta read that again one day. I'm working on it in the, uh, Goku dissection. That's true. Wait a minute. That's where I'm at? In no. No, you're at the 21st. I'm at the 21st one. You got the whole Red Ribbon arc as a go. <laughs> Okay, maybe Ten Shinhan from like the end of the twenty second all the way to the end of the like, King Piccolo's death, his first death. I'd have to reread it again to know for sure. Because he, because it was from Ten Shinhan's perspective where we saw Roshi die, Chaozu die, and then Tien training with the Mafuba in order to steal King Piccolo away while Goku was away, while everyone else thought he was dead. How is Piccolo the secondary main character in the Saiyan Saga? He's not. It's Gohan. It's not because of Piccolo that we're watching Gohan. Piccolo is like the start of his hero journey, right? Mostly? Yeah. yeah. We were watching that because it was Go. Well... I mean, he was technically the second main character because while Goku was just running on Snake Way, we were watching Gohan's journey mostly. Yeah, we were watching Gohan's story, not Piccolo's story. Mm hmm. Piccolo was like the second thought of the whole story. No, DC, Pic Tommy's just a side character still. He really didn't have much importance then. Yeah, it took me an hour and a half. Yeah. Ow. Okay. I missed anything? Yes. Of course. You didn't send on a Namek, did you? Oh, the Boo Saga <laughs> Gohan is definitely the um Yeah. The secondary main character. That's why a lot of people think it should have he should have become the main character by that point. It's cuz throughout all of Z he was the secondary main character. 
and people confuse that well, with being the first character, main character. Would you would you say the android arc? He was the secondary main character because he didn't have really have much focus until after he came out of the room in Spirit of Time. Yeah, it's more of a cell the cell arc he was. Yeah, in the android arc, it was mostly. I'll say, it shifts from like it shifts from Vegeta to Piccolo, or no, it shifts from Trunks, Vegeta, Piccolo. And then back to Trump and Vegeta. I don't think... I think because it shifts between so many of them, I don't think any of them are the secondary main character. That's true, yeah. Vegeta, maybe. Like, I, my money... My money's on Vegeta if this were, like, yeah, a quiz. I feel like it was Vegeta from when he first went Super Saiyan all the way to... When he lost against 18, and then it became a free for all again. And Piccolo took over because he was the strongest fighter there. And then that's where we were introduced to Cell. We were introduced to what another timeline of this, all these events. And Piccolo was the one that was fighting 17, and, was fighting 17 and Cell while Goku was stuck on the lookout. And no, Ronnie, I want to say Vegeta was the main character in the Frieza arc. I would say no, he's... he's I, I would give him secondary main character, actually. No, no, no. He, no. Was, he was he an was antagonist, antagonist that we were... He, um... he was like the secondary antagonist who we teamed up with at that time. I'm yeah. Yeah, yeah he, was, he was secondary antagonist, not secondary protagonist. I was about to say, arc. like... Yeah, like, the guy got an art name after him. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, Vegeta, like, like, the big one was Frieza. And then you had Vegeta on the side, along with, like, Ginyu Force on another side when they showed up and left. And then the secondary protagonist during the whole Namek arc was Gohan and Krillin, I would say. Because they had their own stories going on while Goku was in space. Do you agree with Gigi there, Kyrie? The Frieza arc isn't even Goku story. It's Vegeta, Krillin, and Gohan. Uh, the whole of the anime is Goku story. Um, or the whole of the series is Goku story. Mm-hmm. Goku is still main character throughout all of Dragon Ball. Goku is the main character because it's it's still focused on waiting on Goku. Wait, it does and, not be not there for half the damn arc. I, and yeah. I would say the, the I would say the Bardock stuff, not like not the TV special, but also minus as well, kind of set up the whole Goku and Frieza stuff for the Namek and later on. Vegeta was an antagonist for half of this arc since Gohan and Krillin were trying to avoid him at all costs up until the Ginyu Force arrived. That's my dad. <coughs> <for me. laughs> Minus does exist. It was written at the end of Jocko the Galactic Patrolman. I have to close my door. DC. Hold on, guys. Mm -hmm. Alright. <clears throat> oh wait, what? Yeah, GG Gamer just pulled Death of the yeah. Author on you, Quantum. He did. He didn't understand my joke, but when I said minus <coughs> exists, the fact that minus exists because it's it's there to read. I didn't say anything about it being canon, though. I said it was existing. <laughs> Kid Goku is the best Goku, according to Ronnie. My favorite Goku. Hmm. I wouldn't call him the best Goku, but my favorite Goku is the 23rd tournament. My favorite Goku is a Namek Goku. GG 
GG gamer. You are trying Get to the... troll me. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna so. Put him on Namek for that. Yes, yes, ma'am. Get out of here. <laughs> he was trying to say something about evolution, Goku, but then you kicked him. I don't care. He said T he said TFS was the best Goku. Get the fuck out of that shit. <laughs> Wait, then Vegeta becomes antagonist at a certain point after the Ginyu's are. Yeah, eh. Sean Paul. It's called Namek because it lasts for five minutes. And in five minutes, Namek will explode. <laughs> Longest five minutes in anime history. Goku Jr. is the best Goku. But Goku Jr. isn't Goku. He's Goku's great, great, great grandchild. My favorite Goku. <laughs> what is the best Goku? I don't want to know what he posted. DC. Talk. Make this. This is filler. You have to talk right now, DC. Come on. No! <laughs> no. Would you, talk no. If, would you talk if I send you to Namek? Uh, I don't think that's gonna work, bro. Great to say a man greater than Spider Man. Wait, why are we preparing those two again? Goku I don't know. is the best Goku. I don't know what the best Goku is. I can't give an answer. I love all of them. You just love Goku in general. I That's just all right. love Goku in general. DC responded to you. DC has responded to you, Q. What do you say? No talking. No. Barbara's had four girlfriends and got married to Mary Jane. Been drinking oh, so oh, much. Oh, oh, that's, that's true. That's oh. true. Oh. Firemaj is right. You like Toriyama Goku. I like Toriyama's Goku. Okay, DC. Right. Gotcha, bro. Oh, Itachi Wanker. You. What happened? Ooh, honey, sweet, sweet <coughs> child, baby. Oh, oh no. Super Goku isn't that much different from DBZ Goku. Baby? Avatar? You know whose channel you're on? <coughs> oh crap, I can't laugh. Ow. You seem new. So Dragon Ball Super Goku is actually best Goku. He's a dynamic character. So much death. <laughs> Delayed by quantum. <laughs> this is this is my true form. Is that GG Gamer? Oh no. He switched. He switched. Did he switch accounts? He, he just, just stepped on the landmine. He can't wait team. for five minutes. All right. All right. Let me. Oh my God. He is GG. You t Namek? You can't escape punishment like that, bro. No, 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 no. Not, not for having an opinion. I know. Alt boy, <laughs> DC. Pray for <laughs> the fallen one. There it is, DC. Send me instead to Namek. Oh my God! Make DC happy. Send him to Namek. Bye, DC. I don't hear you talk. I don't want to hear you talking when you when you get sent to Namek DC. Says so you the one that don't want to talk. So you've okay, been drinking. GG Gamer. I want you to be one thousand percent honest with me. Do you honestly believe that there's nothing different between Dragon Ball Super Goku and Dragon Ball Goku? I'm just saying, DC. You the one that don't want to talk. So don't start talking now because we put you on Namek. Not being mean. You, that was your own words. I'll put you in the Genjutsu. Dude, I ain't talking about Naruto here. <laughs> I told y'all 
I told y'all he's been a fan for a while, but switch accounts. Oh, he shouldn't have stopped by. He's a troll, question mark. Hell no, I ain't going to Namek this time. <laughs> Hybrid. DBS Goku acts way less serious, to be honest, but DBZ Goku has more death. Itachi. Both Wanker. of those things are true. And Shaw Paul agrees. We forgot about GT Goku, Ronnie. I haven't watched GT. Yet. 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 We Dragon will get Ball there. Super, <laughs> Dragon Ball Super Goku actively left his small child to go train on another planet. But DBS Goku is a better father than DBZ Goku. How? That's facts. How? Oh. In Ow. what way? And Avatar says how. How? He's shown... Oh my god. I am confusion. Confusion? That a word? Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna create a Go highlight. Goku is somehow dumber than Kid Goku. Fire. Goku is uh there, he doesn't leave. Goku doesn't Oh my god. <laughs> Avatar? Play nice. <laughs>